Let's begin at the end with all 13 sections and designers on the stage. Yuma is taking its masqueraders on a world tour in 2024. Everyone we spoke to seemed ready to jump on board. Earlier, when you get on the road, don't be stush. Throw away your heels, ladies, and you know, have a time. Even the designers are excited to share their work with the public. But after the pandemic, they were also grappling with the increased challenges associated with the sourcing of design material. I mean, a lot of the stuff I bought originally from Africa, Nigeria, just for, um, specifically. So, you know, you get challenges in terms of shipments, language barriers and whatnot. But when you have a mission, you do what you have to do to make it. It's a challenge his colleague Keisha Collett, a 10-year veteran in the field, also grappled with. Material is expensive. Bringing in stuff is expensive. Clearing goods is expensive. Customs be killing us. Since prices for costumes have not yet been revealed, it remains to be seen how much or even if those costs will be transferred to the customer. Last evening's launch at the Hyatt was delayed one week because of the CARICOM meetings this past week. In the lead-up to the launch, there was a lot of talk of designers emigrating to Yuma from other bands. But according to their official statement, they've only added two new designers in their lineup, Timothy Chin Fat and Christian Chow Chung from Grenada. Hey, yo! Sweeney Gray, CNC3 News.